now students we'll discuss a new topic a new heading that is steps involved in setting up a enterprise so whenever a entrepreneur a uh, devices or introduces a new idea so with the idea only he cannot launch the enterprise so there are several or numerous steps which are involved in the setting up an enterprise so only devising only just uh, innovating idea will not work so there are several or numerous steps which are involved in setting up or establishing an enterprise first one is selecting the line of business then the second one is deciding the size of the business or unit third one is choosing the form of ownership while fourth one is locating the appropriate site fifth one is financing the proposition sixth one is provision of physical facilities seven one is plant layout eight one is internal organization ninth one is acquiring the right and the required human resources nine one is compliance tenth sorry tenth one is compliance with the statutory requirements while the eleventh one and the last one is launching the enterprise so these are a very fast steps means 11 steps these are numerous steps which has to be followed while launching the enterprise while establishing or setting up enterprise so we'll discuss the introductory part first and then after that we'll cover in detail all the bits and parts first one is selecting the line of business so the entrepreneur or the person who is uh, setting up the business first they have to select the line of business the line of business means what should be the nature line of business means whether it's industrial business whether it's trading type of business or whether it's manufacturing or service concern so first the entrepreneur should be very much sure and fixed in which line of business he or the person has to enter be it industrial be it uh, trading or service so the person has to decide which line of business the person has to select now next deciding the size of unit so from the heading you can figure it out that deciding the size of unit means that the business how much the size is whether it would be small scale whether it will be medium scale or whether it will be large scale so low be a low size organization requires low low investment medium scale of organization or enterprise requires medium scale investment and large scale of enterprise requires large scale of investment while moving on to the third point that is choosing the form of ownership of the enterprise so we are doing in a introductory we will not go into detail so i am just giving you a glimpse and glance choosing the form of ownership of the enterprise has three broad categories which are classified into sole trader or sole proprietor then partnership and the joint stock company so if the business or the enterprise wants to launch into the sole trader or the partnership or the joint stock company so that is the form of ownership the person has to decide now moving on to the locating the appropriate site now while establishing a enterprise the person needs to locate the right and the appropriate site because it needs to have accessibility of transportation raw materials banking insurance having a customer base and everything should be in proximity and vicinity to the enterprise so 
that is locating the appropriate site is also a, a factor here because appropriate site plays a very important and vital role now moving to the third point that is financing the proposition means financing the business so there comes that each uh, every person that uh, a person cannot have a huge amount of funds uh, which is having uh, so there are three types like they can take help financial assistance from others so there are three forms of ownership that is sole trader partnership and joint stock so so the the choose financing the proposition has that that they can uh, enter into different uh, spheres now provision of physical facilities like uh, a good enterprise should have all the physical facilities like good working environment well ventilated well lit and it should have a good ambience and all the infrastructure all the machine should be there there should be a good supervisor well trained instructor then moving to the next that is plant layout how the organization or enterprise should have a layout means how the plant organization should be decorated how it should look like now next is internal organization means the person who are associated with the organization the person who are working within the organization so they should have a good relationship with the organization as well as the outside as well as the employees who are working in the organization so internal organization means that the persons who are associated with the organization structure the top structure which comprises of the board of directors the owner the chairman and the ceos should have a good relationship because in organization there is a hierarchy that consists of three levels the top one the medium one and the bottom one now next is acquiring the required human resources so as to function the enterprise has to function in a very good smoothly and efficiently manner so there should be no depletion or wastage of the resources the physical resources the financial resources the human resources and all other inputs the factors of productions so the company or the enterprise must ensure that the company must acquire the required human resources which comprises of all the professional experts and well developed managerial persons with having all the all round craftsmen with having the requisite knowledge skills aptitude because those person those human resource are a indispensable part of the management and they can take the organization to a new heights with the optimal utilization of all the resources making it feasible and viable so that the organization can attain its organizational goals now next is compliance with statutory requirements so enterprise whenever it is functioning the enterprise has to make sure that it abides adheres and complies with all the statutory requirements of the uh, state bodies or the local bodies which uh, prescribes all the laws rules regulations protocols and therefore it has to comply with the laws rules regulation taxation system of the business so if the enterprise is uh, complying and uh, regulating it so they can understand and if they protocol then if they violate all these things they breach all the things so the company will crumble down and the next step is launching the enterprise when all the above steps selecting the size deciding the size of unit choosing the form of ownership locating the appropriate site financing the provisions uh, provision of physical facilities plant layout internal organization 
acquiring the human resources compliance so after all the 10 steps have been followed and duly completed keeping in mind all the things so comes the last step that is launching the enterprise when all things are done the enterprise is in the final step that they can launch the enterprise and the working of the enterprise is in final mode so the enterprise can function its daily to daily activities like uh, selling its initial products and services to the customers so that is we have done the introduction part and in the next video we will cover in all details and all bits and parts of the steps involved in the selection uh, in the establishing the enterprise so this is we have done the introduction part so that you can have a insight you can have a glimpse of what is the steps so do watch the video entirely listen to the audio clips very carefully watch it several times to grab the meaning content and concept of it and if you do have the book please do refer the book if you do not have the book ask me the pdf i'll provide you the pdf and write down the points at your respective countries so next in the next video we will discuss all the 11 steps in details and in all the full bits and parts of each and every point and if any sorts of doubts or problems crops up then please do revert back to me feel free to ask me you can text by whatsapp and i will definitely provide you the required assistance